Placements are open to all students. They'll have two years of learning and then in the third year they'll go out and work for a year and then come back and do the fourth and final year. We have relationships with employers of all different sizes and all the placements we promote are paid. The careers website was good. They partner with a lot of these different companies. They put the offers up on this website so you could actually have a look which of these companies are offering a one-year internship. They basically prepare you for everything. I did my placement in the Walt Disney Company um, at the head office um, in Hammersmith in London. That was the first company that um, opened the interview and after they received me, I just accepted the offer straight away. Disney was one of my dream companies to work for. When I got the offer from them, I was actually screaming. When I went to the company and met the people who interviewed me, they were um, joking about like, how I was screaming and they have to, okay, <laughs> can we continue? <laughs> I know that international students tend to worry a lot about getting a placement comparing to the local student because they obviously their English is not the first language. I understand that feeling is quite discouraged me at the beginning, but I just gotta try. Don't worry if you work hard, you're gonna get it. Prior to this, I had zero working experience and I was really, really nervous when they, this, this company decided to take me in. I went through about 10 different applications. My first rejection, I just felt absolutely shattered. But I told myself that if I didn't get it, you know, there's always another opportunity out there, so we just keep trying. We know that pretty much any form of placement activity enhances the student's employability. For international students, it's even more important. If you're able to say that you came from an overseas country, you're able to work for a few months in a major uh, UK or international firm, it signals good things about your ambition, your openness to challenge, and your adaptability. Brighton's such a nice city to be in. You know, everyone's happy and you're right next to the beach. My placement supervisor was really helpful because he contacted me on a regular basis, checking if I'm okay, they're treating me right. We had to do this um, logs monthly. And we had to reflect back on what we learned, uh, what we did. When you type it all out, you actually can see yourself grow every month because you're typing something new. My team was really funny, outgoing. They love making jokes with each other. It was the first week and it was my birthday on a Friday. They, they surprised me in a meeting room. They told me to go into the meeting room and there that cake was and everyone was just around it and they just sang happy birthday to me. I was, I was so shocked. Coming back to university after work placement, the stuff I learned before helped with my work placement and as well my work placement helped with my final year. When you were working for one year, like you kind of get the routine for waking up like in the morning. And it's really hard for students at final year to keep that routine, be on track, and yeah, organize your work very well. Having that work placement gives you an advantage over your peers. It introduces you to a workplace culture early. You know what to expect in the workplace and you learn so much. Placement was the best thing I ever done in my life. 